I'm here with Christine Adams, who is the Director of Mortgage Services at USCU. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. I'm excited you to bet. be here. Yeah, you bet. Well, you guys, um, uh, every lender is in hot demand right now. And really, you were in hot demand before the pandemic set in, given what was happening with the insanely low mortgage rates and the amount of refi activity you were seeing. Um, so we kind of know what that pipeline looked like. What does it look like today? How's, how's the market generally in terms of lending? Uh, the market's doing well. Our pipelines, right? The industry is seeing unprecedented volume. Um, we did see at UFCU in March a 15% purchase increase year over year, which we were very excited to see that happening in our market. Sure. Um, however, we know that's kind of slowed down a little bit with people being hesitant to go into homes. Mm -hmm. uh, we do, do still have a pretty strong purchase pipeline. Um, about 50% is purchase business. Um, we continue to prioritize those loans over anything else because we know that that's important for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shelter has a whole new meaning now. So people yes. need to get into the homes that they're trying to buy. It does. Um, but we're also seeing some changes to the industry to help support that as well. Um, reduced appraisal standards. Um, at UFCU, for all of our products, we're, we're allowing a um, drive-by or a desktop appraisal. In some situations, we'll ask the borrowers or the sellers to provide us with some interior photos so that we can kind of ease some of the uneasiness of having strangers in your home. Sure. Um, and we found that to be pretty helpful. Sure. So on that front, so it sounds like you're changing the mechanics of the appraisal, but is UFCU making any changes to the timing of when the appraisal is required? Not at this point. Um, we're still trying to keep our process as normal. Mm -hmm. um, the timing changes that we've seen happening are verifying employment. Um, it seems like every day different people's jobs are changing. Um, as an industry, we've seen some investors tighten up and want like verbal verifications within three days of closing, mm -hmm. where our standard has always been 10. Um, we haven't made that change yet. We're trying to um, manage what's going on, be proactive. The other big change we've seen that we hadn't before was with self-employed borrowers. Okay. And they're buying the still operating and open piece of their business. Um, because right, we're in 2019, however, we're using 2017 and 2018 income to qualify because people now haven't, definitely haven't done their tax returns. So it's sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's interesting that even the timing, the shifts made by the IRS are now implicating your ability to look at that income history, mm -hmm. but it, and it certainly makes sense that you would want to check that the business is still up and, and running and creating revenues. Um, what, what kinds of changes are you seeing just in the way your lenders are actually interacting with their clients of your, I mean, you guys are used to working remotely to some degree. There's lots of electronic mechanisms associated with the lending process. So you are sort of in a good spot, but what has anything new cropped up on that front? I would say the biggest thing that's cropped up there would be electronic closings. Um, the RON closing, the remote online notary seems to be the hot topic. Um, I, it's like a, the new buzzword with closings. Yeah. Um, however, we found that that's maybe not the best solution for a lot of people. They're in such high demand that we're having to book closings two or three weeks out in order to get a RON scheduled. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen a lot of our borrowers opt for the curbside notary with the title company. And that seems to be the easiest and quickest way and the safest way to get our closings accomplished for most of our borrowers. Okay, so curbside is still a relatively low contact option, but one that expedites the process as opposed to waiting for the thing that everybody thinks they need, the remote uh, notary pro option. Correct. Yeah, it's, we all gravitate to what we think we're supposed to do, but there are these other options. So it's good to be in contact with your lender about what those options are so that you can keep your process running. Absolutely. What changes are you seeing with regards to the requirements for on the, on the loan itself? Are you um, increasing the down payment requirements, looking at increased FICA score requirements? What are you, what are you looking at there? 
the places that I've seen increase in um, credit score requirements are the government loans, the FHA, VA, USDA. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, we haven't tightened up our guidelines regarding credit score or um, down payment and loan to value. Um, okay. It's still so what do those guidelines look like right now then? Uh, you're still, we're still, I believe at a 620 credit score um, okay. minimum with a if you're doing a Fannie or FHA, it's still 3% or 3.5% down. Um, we're still in the business to help our members get into homes as quickly and easily as they can, um, assuming they can find one. We know that's been a problem in the Austin area lately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, that's, um, that's really consistent with what we're hearing is that despite the fact that there are obviously some buyers and sellers who feel like they just want to put their, their purchase or their sale on pause for a moment, there's still with such demand and such a supply lag that this market remains active and, and, and intense even now. Yeah. I if not saying. more so, you know, buyers lost out on some of the, some of the property that was previously active where folks are, are pulling back a little, we've got an even tighter inventory. Yes, absolutely. I keep telling my team, if I was actively in the market for a home to purchase a new home before all this happened, I would be even harder to find one now because yeah. there's less people that are pushing forward with that. And mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, no, I think there's, there are a lot of deals to be made just where, where we want to, we just want to do that in a way that's safe and sound and mm -hmm. keeps everybody on the, the right side of this stuff. So Yep. Well, anything else that you would offer our realtor members? What can they do to be a good partner to their lender in the way that things are changing right now? How can our realtors help make these deals happen? Um, just, I would say continue doing what they're doing. They're great partners. Um, UFCU is going to always continue to prioritize purchase business. We know that that's important to, to us and to y'all and to the, yeah. the community. Um, we, um, we enjoy working with y'all. It's just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job. Awesome. Well, we so thank UFCU for your affiliate partnership. We love all of the folks that make our market go round. You guys are such an integral part of that. Thank you for this conversation today. And thanks for sharing this information with our members. Thank you.